everybody. This is City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me today for Day 28 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Series 7. As you can see, today's sketch has one photo, and it's a vertical photo, and it's over to the left of the sketch. My photo is going to be over on the right of the sketch. So not a very big change, just flipped it a little bit. The collection that I'm using here is an older K & Company collection. I've been using a lot of those lately, and this one is called Handmade. For years, I had been collecting items, paper and embellishments that were K & Company brand, and they were labeled Handmade. And when I took everything out of the envelope that I keep everything in recently, I realized that they were two separate collections. So I finally separated them into two different envelopes, and it helped me to appreciate this collection a little bit more. I love the deep colors, the purples, and the reds, and the greens, and so I thought this would be a perfect collection to use for today. So I included a about of a third of a page of that very busy, very beautiful floral on the top. I used the red check on the bottom, and then I use a border sticker in the middle there to create a little separation between the top and the bottom pattern papers. You could see there that I cut the border strip and moved a piece over a little bit, and that was because the border sticker wasn't quite 12 inches long. Now I'm using this large cluster of flowers, and I don't know if all of the items that are in this collection were all made for scrapbooking. I feel like this was in the era where they were trying to make scrapbooking papers and embellishments branch out into home decor and some other applications. They were these huge pieces of paper. They were 12 by 24. So I cut those in half and uh, I'm also cutting apart, as you can see, I cut apart that large flower and leaf cluster. And I really liked the way that added uh, a lot of florals to the background. and. Even though this is a museum, they have a, a garden, a rather large garden inside the museum. So I like the idea that there were a lot of florals in this layout. And this is a photo of a museum called the Cloisters. I love this museum, and this isn't the first time that I've scrapbooked photos from this day. Everywhere you look in the museum is something beautiful. They created the museum to go with the different periods that are reflected in all of the items that they have there so uh, they they did an amazing job making period architecture to go with the um, like I said the items in the museum so I'm adding a couple of small flowers to the florals as you could see everything on this page is kind of big uh, the flowers in the background are big the letters are big those leaves are rather big and so I wanted to add some smaller elements so to do that, I added those small flowers. I'm going to be adding some more of those tiny flowers. And those little flowers are three different colors. There are yellowish ones and green ones and purple flowers as well. And I tried to spread those out throughout the different leaves and the different clusters that are on the layout. I added some purple and red enamel dots to that border strip. There, I was using my scissors to position one of them. Sometimes they stick where I don't want them to. The pack of chipboard letters was really cool. You could see the letters there that are spelling out the cloisters, but there were also a lot of other chipboard images in that pack. The red flowers that are around the layout, the butterflies, the bird, this little um, bird cage that's next to the word cloisters, these are all little chipboard uh, pieces that are from that letter pack. And I really love chipboard embellishments, so I was really happy to see those mixed in with the letters. I added some photo corners that I punched out of pattern paper using that photo corner punch by EK Success. And I tried to use some of the dimensional stickers that were in the pack, but I decided that I was satisfied with what was on the page. I was thinking that those green leaves weren't quite visible enough on the background, that they faded in a little bit with the red check, and I really like contrast on my layouts. So in order to make the leaves a little bit more visible, 
I took a white jelly roll pen and I drew lines around the outside of the leaves. I didn't put lines on all of the leaves, but I did do that on most of them. And when I started making the lines, some of the lines looked a little light, so I layered up the ink and I did apply the ink several times on some of the leaves until I liked how white it was. And I'm not drawing uh, the lines at the very edge. I'm leaving a little bit of a border and I'm not drawing solid lines. I'm breaking the line up a little bit. I'm drawing some dots in between and I ended up liking the effect that that made. I like to add elements to the layout that are made of different materials. So I am adding some self-adhesive pearls to the background. And for this layout, I also felt that it would be a good idea to incorporate some more light colors in the background. So I like that these touches are white. And I'm adding three different sizes. I'm adding kind of a large-ish size for the layout and then some medium pearls and then a very, very tiny pearl as well. And these are just some inexpensive pearls. I not sure where I got them from, but um, I find that pearls are pretty economical, much cheaper than uh, enamel dots, and I love the effect. And that completes this layout. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up, and please check out all the other scrapbookers who are following along with this challenge. Their links are in the description box. I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.